Hey everybody and welcome back to our Fat Facts series. Uh, I'm Ted, your host, and for this Fat Facts we're going to look at the Dust Bowl. Now the, uh, the Dust Bowl was this cataclysmic event um, that sort of uh, occurred <coughs> as the, uh, the economic um, woes were worsening in the United States. Uh, and up until then the economic woes were solely a uh, were solely affecting the industrial sector of the economy. Um, the agrarian uh, sector of the economy was certainly uh, suffering. It had been reeling since the end of World War One, but it hadn't uh, it hadn't tanked. It hadn't fallen to the point uh, to a level that was comparable to the industrial sector. Um, all that changed had drought conditions worsened on the Great Plains. Um, <clears throat> And of course, uh, the Great Plains were always a very windswept region. There's a lot of wind um, on, on the plains, uh, really strong winds on the plains. Uh, but it had never really been a problem because uh, the soil was never really broken up. The, the natives who, uh, who lived on the plains didn't really farm intensively. So much of uh, the soil and the, and, the, and the plains were compacted uh, with really virgin <coughs> <coughs> Uh, excuse me. It was uh, it was really very virgin soil on the Great Plains, um, very uh, hard and compact into the brick into uh, this brick like concrete, like um, like uh, appearance and feel. Um, it was so thick, so tough that the only way the farmers were able to really farm the plains was to implement John Deere tractors and use those steel plows uh, backed by uh, mechanic engines to just tear through, to just saw, um, slice through and, and saw through that tough prairie sod. Um, this had the effect of making the, um, making the sod, uh, ma making the ground one uh, workable for the farmers so that the farmer could plant their crops, but it also loosened all that soil. And had the drought conditions worsened, the soil became very fine, very dust-like. And the area, as I stated earlier, was always wind shrept. Very powerful winds come to the area. And when the drought conditions and the, and the, the fierce winds uh, came together, they created these huge uh, dust clouds, these monstrous clouds that blocked everything out and suffocated everything in its path. Uh, people on roads, people who could not get to shelters, animals and pastures, they were suffocated and blanketed with all of this, uh, with all of this dust. Um, dust that became sort of like sand. Um, <clears throat> it was almost like living in a, in a desert and a, and, a, and a sandstorm comes in and just blanket sand everywhere. Um, there are pictures and reports of entire community landscapes and, and, uh, and farms, uh, including farmhouses, farm equipments, and of course uh, the, the crops in the field just being blanketed with sand dunes. Um, these, these, uh, these dust storms caused tremendous damage. They wreaked havoc, um, uh, ruined many farmers and many agricultural communities. Um, and the effect was so widespread that a very unique, uh, a very um, a uniquely American phenomena uh, came about as a result of all of this um, dust being swept up into the atmosphere. Um, <clears throat> due to wind, wind patterns and weather patterns, uh, the phenomenon came about to where uh, dust um, wasn't just swept up and settled um, on the plains, but it actually migrated into uh, the Atlantic seaboard, into uh, cities along the Great Lakes and uh, cities on the east, uh, eastern seaboard. So, uh, this dust was carried up high um, in the atmosphere and sort of returned to the earth as mud. Um, uh, whenever uh, the dust was, uh, was caught up in the atmosphere, whenever it rained over a city like Philadelphia or New York or Boston, it would come down as mud um, <clears throat> when it came back to the earth. Um, that was a very unique uh, and troubling aspect of the Dust Bowl. But the, um, <clears throat> but the Dust Bowl itself had the effect of uh, adding to the economic woes of the Republic at the time and spurring a number of people to abandon uh, farming, the abandon the urban, the, the rural community in hopes of finding jobs in urban settings um, and also um, adding to the creation of this hobo community of people jumping uh, on, uh, on um, empty or open rail cars and riding the rails as hobos. 
Um, and that'll do it for our fast fact. I hope you guys found it entertaining and enjoyable. Hit like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you thought about this fast fact regarding the Dust Bowl.